Wagwan beautiful people, welcome to yet another video. I hope you guys are feeling good. I am glad to be back with another video and we are doing a preview series. Yes, we will be doing a preview series where I give you my predicted lineup in terms of the game tomorrow and this time the UEFA Champions League. Now we'll be facing Juventus in the group stages and this is group H. Now we at the groups as it stands right now are currently tied to Juventus so this game should be more of a tiebreaker and whoever wins this whoever wins this game whoever th wins this round will have an advantage moving forward and guys I have to insist we have to win this game I know in my last video I had a bit of a rant if you haven't checked it out please make sure you do but I have to say that yes that's the Premier League and it's still a bit early so <laughs> Yes, I think I might have taken it a little bit far, but I still feel the same way. We still not, we still can't be making the same mistakes. We need to make sure that we stick to what we know. And if you want to experiment, maybe in a smaller game. So yeah, that's basically what I said. I expect a very interesting game tomorrow. I know Juventus, they lost a, a key player. They lost Ronaldo. So I'm expecting them to, they've been struggling a little bit in terms of Serie A. So it will be nice to see what will happen because we still have the likes of Marata, still have the likes of Dybala. So it will be interesting to see who will be the key player starting tomorrow. Now I have a bit of news from Chelsea and yeah, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you subscribe. <laughs> In terms of the Chelsea news, I have to tell you guys that we have a few, a few injuries and I have to say things are not looking good. In terms of the injuries, now we'll be having with James out, Mason Mount is still out, um, Christian Pulisic is out, and to top it all off, N'Golo Kante will be out for this game. He just tested positive for COVID-19, so sadly N'Golo Kante will not be able to participate in the game tomorrow. Now, this is really, this is really sad, this is really a bummer. I mean, N'Golo Kante is a very key part of the team and he is really key in some very key interceptions. Now, we can we have played games without, without N'Golo Kante, don't get me wrong, but I feel like we need, an, we need N'Golo Kante in our squad. So this would be a blow for our squad and I hope it doesn't get to the squad and I hope they can just take it all in, work together, realize that yes, despite the fact that some certain players are not in the game, the show must go. I expect great momentum tomorrow, I expect great spirit, I, I expect great chance creations despite the fact that some of the players are not there, it's okay, they can still, we can still do it, we have done it before and we have a secret ingredient, so yes, <laughs> and speaking of the secret ingredient, I might as well tell you the starting 11, so I, I have decided to go with a 3-4-2-1 formation, we should stick to this formation, this formation works well. It has worked so well in the past till we see it's not working and we decide to change it, okay? Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Now, <laughs> in terms of the starting 11, I will be having Mendy in goal with Rudiger, Thiago Silva and Christensen for the back three. Now, for the midfield four, I will be going with Alonso, Kovacic and Jorginho at the pivot. And at the other end, I will be having Aspilicueta. For the front three, this is the best time to have Kai Havertz, right next to him, Timo, and up front, Lukaku. Now, this starting 11 is key. I feel like in terms of attacking, we need to attack more. And in the fact that Mason Mount will not be there to be playing the role of a forward, but even though he's a midfielder, I feel like it's very important that Timo is there in terms of pace, I feel Timo will add a very great advantage. Then in terms of creating chances, Kai Havertz has more of that ability in terms of chance creation. So I'm expecting a great game tomorrow and overall, I expect a success. With that said, my score prediction will be Juventus is a strong team. So I'm expecting a fight. I will be giving Chelsea a 2 nil win. Let's just make it clean. Let us not leave it open for another equalizer or even a draw possibly. So let's just make it clean. So a 2-0 win for Chelsea is what I expect. Now with the starting 11, the fact that we're missing a few players, maybe this will be the chance for them to... This will be the chance for Chelsea to introduce the likes of Ruben Loftus-Cheek. He had a very clean game last time. So or Chaloba, I mean, 
we're, we're missing Rhys James in terms of the right wing back area. So it will be interesting to see if Thomas Tuchel decides to mix it up. And that will be it for my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it with your family and friends. And don't forget to subscribe. Turn on the post notification bell. Get notified every time I upload a video. And I'll be seeing you in my next video.